Hi guys, James from DIY EFI here. In this guide, we're going to cover the basics to get you connected to your new ECU, showing you how to install the software needed, load the latest firmware to the ECU, connect to it in Tuner Studio, and finally load a base map. You can find the links to my store, Facebook, and Instagram page in the description below. The links for the following three downloads are also in the description below. First, we're downloading the Arduino IDE. We don't actually need to run this application, but it installs a large range of drivers which cover most Speedwino ECUs. Secondly, we're downloading Tuner Studio, which you'll use to configure and tune your ECU. Lastly, we're downloading Speedy Loader. This is to install the firmware to your Speedwino ECU and get the latest base map for it. Don't plug anything in yet, that comes later. Let's start by installing the Arduino application for its drivers. I have sped the video up here so you don't just have to watch the progress bar. Now let's install Tuner Studio. Leave all the options as their defaults here. Uncheck the option to open after we close the installer. We don't need Tuner Studio just yet. Right click the start button and select device manager. If you have a ports group already, expand it and make note of what's there already. These will not be your Speedwino COM port numbers, we'll be looking for something new. Now plug in your ECU, you should see Device Manager refresh and a new entry appear in the ports group. My ECU is COM4, remember what yours is, you'll need this shortly. Close Device Manager and run Speedy Loader, this does not require any form of installation and should just run. Unless you have a specific need, leave the firmware selection as the latest and click choose port. Now choose the COM port that matches the one that you just saw appear in Device Manager. In my case that is COM4, go ahead and click upload. Speedy Loader will download some files and then start the upload. If your board has TX and RX LEDs you should see these blink as it progresses. When the upload is complete, click get base tune and save that to your PC. Close Speedy Loader and launch Tuner Studio from the start menu. When it has launched, click Create New Project, then type a name for your project. Click the detect button, this should determine the COM port and firmware automatically. If it doesn't, don't worry, there is a section at the end of the video on how to perform a manual setup. When prompted, click yes to download the configuration file. Then click next, here you can calibrate your project. Personally, I only change the temperature units to use Celsius and enable the hardware tests. This gives you an extra menu where you can toggle injector and ignition outputs on and off for testing purposes. The next screen shows your connection settings. The detection process should have found the COM port you are using and chosen it for you automatically. Click next and then finish to complete the configuration. Tuner Studio should now have connected to your ECU. Currently there is no tune loaded so most sensor data will not be valid so let's load a base map. Click file and then load tune. Navigate to where you saved the base tune to earlier. The default directory is downloads. Click open, you should then be warned that it will overwrite the current settings. Click yes to proceed and the tune should begin loading to your ECU. Loading a tune requires a power cycle, so unplug and reconnect the ECU. You will now notice that some of the data looks more sensible. The air temperature and coolant temperature calibrations are not part of the base tune. You will need to calibrate these before they will react to any input. You do not have to do this at this point, but I am just calibrating both to the Bosch type that I supply for demonstration purposes. We now have an ECU with the base tune on and the key inputs calibrated. I'm just going to plug in my speedy sim 
This is a device that simulates engine inputs and also shows the output states. I'm not going to cover this in detail in this video as there will be a video on that soon. You can see the engine is running and responding to my input adjustments. And that's it, you can now configure the ECU for your project and get to tuning. I hope this video helped you get up and running, thanks for watching. I'm just additionally going to cover what to do if Tuner Studio Auto Detect didn't work for you. Create a project as before, rather than clicking the detect button, click the other slash browse checkbox instead. Speedy Loader will have downloaded the matching configuration file for your firmware, so browse to that and click open, this is also likely to be in your downloads folder. Click next and then change any project settings if needed. On the communication setting page you'll manually have to choose the COM port, use the one we know from device manager. Click next and then finish, you too should now be up and running. Thanks again for watching and enjoy your project.